Um, we've been talking about the passing, but they have a running back that does a lot of big things. So, you know, what kind of a running back? Well, that's what I was saying the other day. They run it more than – like the perception is that they throw it every down. It's really not the case. Um they they do a really good job with him where they get him on the edge. You know, he, he's a good back. I mean, I, th I think he, he runs it between the tackles well. He's got really good long speed. He's the same guy who brought the kickoff back against Southern Miss. I mean, he, he's got long speed too, but, uh, you know, he runs it between the tackles. They just do a good job. A lot of what they do is always on the edge in space. And the run game's kind of the same. You know, when they'll run it, they'll bounce it to get it on the edge. And, and he does a really good job. I mean, he's hard to square up and get on the ground. I mean, he, he does a good job making the first one miss. And like I said, I mean, he, he's got the long speed to finish too. He's, I think he's a pretty complete back, to be honest with you. They throw it to him. I mean, he's he's a really good player. Has anyone got pressure on him, or is that has has some have some teams gotten pressure on on TJ? Or? UTSA did, you know. I mean, UTSA uh, did a good job, and not that they pressured a whole bunch. They just kind of cut loose a little bit and kind of and did a good job and got after it. And so, you know, I think. Naturally, that was his. That was their worst game offensively. You know, they were able to get pressure on him. A lot of the other teams have not been able to. Um, you know, and I think some of it is is tempo. You can't maybe get into the calls that you want. So, you know, you, you don't have the whole playbook available. Um, some of it's probably fatigue. You know, I mean, the number of plays that they play is probably not as many as you would think. You know, kind of going back and looking at it, it's it's it was you know mid 70s you know which is which is a lot of plays but um it, it's just still the tempo within the drives you know you just kind of don't ever have time to catch your breath so they're hard to get they're hard to get pressure on because they do run the ball number one number two they get rid of the ball pretty quickly and even their shots down the field are you know ball comes out pretty quick so they they, they do a good job it's not like they're just drop back and you know guys down the field all over the place that there's a lot of just kind of dinks and dunks in space and take the one-on-ones and their big ones usually come from some of those one-on-ones or they'll make you miss out in the flat and then go so um they do a good job getting out of his hand and he makes good decisions with it in, in your experience uh, around football for for them to install something that was a lot different from what they were doing with previous coaching staff. And for it to at least seemingly has been going really well for them this soon. It, is that like, how, how, how do you think they've been able to, to kind of get it to where it, it's almost running so fluidly for them? Yeah, I don't know. You know, um, I mean, he did a good job at, at Incarnate Word too in a year. So, um, you know, he, he's obviously got, you know, their staff obviously has a pretty good, um, formula for coming in and getting it turned pretty quick I mean there are a lot of elements though on that offense that are similar to what they did with, with coach Spavadol um, you know so there's there's quite a bit of carryover I mean I don't know if they would describe themselves as air raid guys but they're both a lot of air raid principles in what they do um, so I mean it carried over pretty quick you know they, they got quite a few kids on that team that are from Incarnate Word too um, you know up front I think maybe three of the linemen are you know on defense they've got at least three or four on defense so there, there's a little bit of that in there as well um, but you know I mean kind of the way it works now you get in there in January and kind of get rolling the coaching staff a lot of that came from UIW um, so there's continuity in that which helps um, but no I mean that they've you know I don't know I mean they they kind of went heavy transfer route and they've obviously gotten some good ones you know that fit so when they we talk about how they score quick a lot of the time so is this we've been talking a lot about the old dominion game and the issues on defense but is this a sit there you said they were a little different is, is there really going to be less need for rotating players than normal because of how quick and how short their drives are or am i how or am i overthinking this well, i mean I think potentially there could be. I mean, they're not going to allow you to rotate in the drive. You know, once they kind of get going with tempo, they're not going to allow you to to get guys in and out of there. Um, but, I mean, if you have a good night on defense, you know, and you can force some three and outs, naturally you limit the amount of plays that they have. And, you know, even when they do score, like I said, I mean, it's there's a lot of five or six play drives on there that, that they score pretty quick. So, um you know, we need to do our job on offense and, and, and try to eat some clock and be efficient and make sure we kind of make some drives counting. I think I said this the other day, like, 
you know, obviously you want points on every drive, but even having a drive where you move the ball and you flip field position, sometimes that's, you know, that's good team football too. So, um, you know, a lot of it depends on the success you have on, on offense and also, you know, on defense, if you can get some of those stops, it's, you know, it, it's obviously, it, it's, it's critical, you know, to be able to get some three and outs there where you get them off the field, you know, and get your offense back on there and get your defense on the sideline. So, you know, I mean, we always play a lot of guys, you know, and that's the plan. Um, I think it's a little bit harder to rotate in series with the way that they do it. They don't sub personnel as much as some other people do. Um, so, you know, we're still planning on playing quite a few guys. It's just, uh, you know, it's just hopefully you can get some three and outs and stops like that where it's maybe different drives and stuff like that. It won't be in drive as much. Against their offense, is it the way they operate it for you guys defensively? Are there – less checks at the line of scrimmage and, and if there's less is that advantageous at all if you're not having to, to try to you know try to make it try to make an audible or something defensively well i mean sometimes less is more you know i mean for sure um it, the way you know you just have to have enough variables though where they play a lot of tempo you know i mean some some teams that you play they've got one tempo check well, you know, if someone's got one tempo check, then you kind of got it right where you want it a little bit, you know. So you ha you have to have enough variables to keep them off off balance. Um, but they do play in a couple different personnel groupings, you know, and naturally they like to do different things in different groupings. So, um, you know, we're trying to do a really good job of making sure that, you know, what we have for our personnel groupings, we're airtight on. Um, you know, it's certainly it can't be a ton of stuff. You don't have time to communicate at all. Um, but, you know, we, we carry – probably more volume than most on defense you know so whittling it down a little bit uh, probably won't be bad uh you know we, we have actually the last couple of weeks you know kind of narrowed down our scope a little bit in game and and um and i think you know i think it's been a good thing for us when we're playing well you know in buffalo when we played really whenever we were on it it was really good you know you lose focus right and that's the way it finishes but you know against minnesota you know i mean it's you know Sometimes you just get outmatched a little bit, you know, and that was kind of what happened a little bit. But we had a good plan, you know, and our guys are, are straining to play in there. You know, you just kind of, um, you know, we knew we knew that would kind of be difficult. So I think some of that has helped us a little bit. We talked about special teams and obviously um, you mentioned how good they were. So how much y'all have kicked off and y'all sky kicked and all that. How much is the win, especially here, dictate what you do there? Well, the wind does dictate quite a bit. Um, a short kick or, or a kick that's not in the right on the right landmark is a problem. You know, um, everyone. I mean, you know, you guys watch enough football. Everyone covers half the field, right? That they kick it in one corner or the other. No one kicks it down the middle anymore. Um, and so for us, I mean, it's not a secret. We're left, left, deep, left. Like that's that's where we kick it. So if you have a lot of wind. It, it potentially is a problem, you know, because it affects the drop depth and the timing and all the things that you work on. So a lot of wind potentially in the kick game does affect the way that you want to kick it, you know. Um, and at Minnesota, you know, I think we ended up sky kicking one because we had a pretty stiff wind in our face. So it's kind of like, well, you know, it was, this one maybe right before half. I think it was right before half and it was like look we just don't want to give up a big one right here and so we we sky kicked it and that was kind of the you know the plan for us is always to kick it and cover kicks um and then once you get in game sometimes there's some circumstances that you say well you know maybe it's strategic maybe you feel like you can you know sky one of some that you don't think is going to catch it or something like that where you're like eh, i don't know if we're gonna be able to get the depth or the direction on the kick we need but that i mean that yeah, I mean, I know y'all always work hard on special teams, but you said it Monday. I mean, like, that could decide the game, special teams. Sure. Yeah, I mean, a return for a touchdown is a is a huge momentum play. Um, so, you know, for us, obviously, we need to get our return game ready, um, you know, get Zylan going. He didn't get really very many opportunities last week. Um, their kicker was, you know, kicking it almost out the stadium um you know this guy we ought to be able to get a couple returns which will be good for us um and then certainly we got to cover him you know um you know it, it's it's simple lane integrity you know and you know you watch the last game and, and I southern miss they play really hard i mean they're running down the field they just didn't squeeze lanes and next thing you know it pops and then after that they started squeezing started playing good and you know they they make plays back there they get them down on the ground so um yeah i mean this is this game is 
this game is is something that you know we're really excited about because in all three phases we got to go play well um and if you don't in any one of the three it, it could absolutely cost you you know playing well in two out of three might not be an, it's probably not enough this week just you know truthfully another aspect of special teams what, what have you noticed from them on film say when their offense is backed up maybe inside their 20 inside their 15 inside their 10 does that affect their efficiency and their accuracy and their ability to to drive the ball down the field is it like can thomas leo play a, a, a vital part in, in y'all success on saturday well i mean flipping the field always you know it puts a lot of stress on you offensively um you know i haven't studied them as in in deep tail as backed up you know and those types of things but just in general on offense it puts pressure on you you know because there's a lot of things that, you know, you don't feel real good about dropping back, right? You know, you don't feel real good about rolling out back there either because, you know, one guy off the edge, you got a problem, you know. So what do you do? Direct run? You know, it, it's it's a it's a bit of a problem. Um, I think they have enough stuff in their game where they can get it out, and I don't think it'll be an issue. You know, I don't think it's like they dread being in backed up. No one wants to be there. But, uh, I mean, field position, I think, can play a, a big role in the game because – they are going to get yards like they, they, I mean, that's, you know, they're, they're gonna, I mean, it's college football, you know, everybody does that. Um, and they're good, <laughs> but making them drive the whole field, it extends drives, which is kind of not their thing. You know I mean? That's not really the world that they want to live in. Um, and then it gives you more opportunities to get off the field if they got to go the distance of the field. And, you know, sometimes, like I was saying, I mean, you drive the ball, you eat some clock and you end up flipping the field. Well, you know, it's it's that's team football. You know, I mean, you're not going to score a touchdown every time you got it. And, uh, you know, I think for our special teams, executing in those situations are going to be big. Um, being able to pin them back, being able to cover them down there and get the ball down inside the 10, whatever yard line. So, um, I mean, I think that's always a factor. You never want to have to go 90. I mean, that's that's a that's a tough spot to be in. Have you talked to your team about staying focused because this is the it's always like this but this is a game where if you're up 14 or down 14 you may not mean as much as a lot of games that you play if you're up 14 or down 14. It just seems like this is a game that could be very volatile both ways if i have to tell them to keep their focus now we got a problem you know um no uh, you know we we talked about you know after the buffalo game you know was one that we we talked a lot about it because we did lose our focus and intensity and next thing you know, I mean, the game flips, right? And, and then all of a sudden you're in a dogfight right there trying to recover onside kicks to win. Um, so we talked about it a lot that week. Um, we've talked a lot about intensity and focus as being a vital part of the way that you practice and the way that you do anything. Um, our guys know, though, I mean, they understand, like they know this is a good football team. I mean, they they it's it's a lot like last week like we knew that it wasn't just going to be you go walk the dog on them and it's over i mean they know it's going to be a four quarter game they know that you're gonna have to fight for 60 minutes and they know that that's what it's going to be so no i mean this week they're excited about playing this team because they can see it i mean they know they're a good football team and um you know that's that's kind of what this thing's all about you know when you're getting into your divisional games you know, you, you got to step up to the plate and you got to go play well. So if I got to tell them we got to stay focused, then, then we got problems for sure. Anything else? Um, you did ask about injuries. Sonny Hazard is going to be questionable. Um, you know, he finished the game last week, uh, but he, he's going to be questionable with a lower body um, injury. Um, so, you know, we're, we're working hard to try to have him ready, but um, I, we still have him on there because we're, we're hoping he'll be able to go, but he is questionable. You got good depth there now. We do. I mean, this is three weeks ago. You're, you know, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I don't want to say it. I don't want to sound like it's like that. You're always concerned when you have a guy that's hurt and especially a good player, you know. But we're we're in a better spot than we were three or four weeks ago, you know, right now. And you know, we'll, those guys will be able to hold it down until he gets back.